Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a different kind of video to put up for, for you, and actually there's going to be 11 of them for those of you who like this sort of thing. One of our sisters in Christ was led to compose 11 poems. She did not feel led to do any more, just 11, and she sent them to me. Her name is Megan Owens. You may know her, and I told her I would like to post these on Facebook. She said, sure. Well, Facebook evidently doesn't like them because they won't allow me to post. I've tried three times now, and every time it causes my computer to do this, um, well, it overheats, um, and it just freezes. So I backed out of there, and I thought, I'm just going to put them in a video. I'll keep them short. I'll read you each one at a time, one at a time. Now i got to minimize this, and I'll read her first poem. Okay, Megan, I think these are very good. The first one is called, When Insanity is Reality. Every day it seems like there is something crazy on the news. You can't hide from it, no matter if you read it or watch it. So many things don't make sense anymore. Things that once were wrong are now normal. Where did it all go wrong? When did insanity become reality? Overseas, ISIS is killing Christians, choosing hate and murder over love and peace, soldiers fighting day in and day out just to stay alive, hoping to make it home, but not in a wooden box. The lucky ones who make it home are often scarred and broken, so many suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. For them, the war isn't over. The war still rages inside their head, haunting them in nightmares. And the VA isn't much help. When did insanity become reality? Somewhere, there is another shooting. Too many lives taken before their time. Loved ones left to mourn and suffer. Stop rioting over someone of a certain color. It just fuels racism and hate. I guess the 60s didn't solve that. Things have gotten much worse now. But look at who is the prince of the world. This world. You should know who I'm talking about. He roams this world like a lion seeking whom he may devour. This is what happens when insanity becomes reality. Let us not forget the average person, the ones who look fine on the outside, but hear voices screaming on the inside or see things that aren't there. The ones whose insanity is everyday reality. You take your meds like the doctor told you to do, but you hate the side effects they have on you. Then eventually the cycle starts all over again. So what does one do when insanity becomes reality? Close your eyes and listen. For the still small voice inside, you will find the King of Kings when you call on the name of Jesus Christ. With the power of heaven and earth on his side, you can lay your burdens down at the feet of the Holy Lamb. For one day you will receive a crown. Faith, the size of a mustard seed, can move mountains for those who believe. Ask in his name, and you will find the peace you have been looking for for so long. And that's the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought that was really good, and I hope that helps some people too. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this poem 
that some folks will get something out of it and turn their lives over to Jesus Christ so their insanity will stop. Let Jesus Christ become your reality. I plead the blood of Jesus over our internet connections and over you when you watch this. Okay, bye-bye for now. Let's see, I've got to go up here. It's going to stay on till I figure this out. I <laughs> hope you all have a wonderful day or wonderful night, wherever you are, whoever you are. God bless you.